It's a new book that you should know about if you know a young adult. Think The Hobbit, Twilight, and maybe even a little Harry Potter, all of it thrown in for good measure. It is called A Hero for Wandla, and it's coming out next week. It is the second book in a trilogy from best-selling author Tony DiTerlizzi, who has woven together a fantasy world full of intriguing characters. Uh, Tony, welcome to you. Thanks for having me, Randy. Um, wow, uh, Hobbit, Twilight, you compared me to all that? That's good. <laughs> that's I'm pretty off to impressive. a good start. I like hey, that. Hey, well, you know, I'm looking at the book. It, it has a great cover, very impressive. <laughs> but for those who are just catching up, um, who is Wandla? Who is Wandla? What is Wandla? Wandla is, um, it focuses on a young girl named Evanine. She's 11 years old. And what we find out is that she is living on an alien planet. And she realizes she's the only human alive on this alien planet. And so that's what the first book kind of focuses on. It was inspired by um, my love for The Wizard of Oz, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. I love that book. Uh, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Peter Pan and Wendy. I wanted to try to do a 21st century version of that. Well, the first one was so successful, so I I'm sure this one will be as well. But the action takes place um, in New Attica. Yes. An, an interesting choice uh, for a name. Any relevance there to that? Well, I, Attica actually was um, this, I was thinking of Greek and Roman and the beginning of civilization. And I know a lot of people think of the, the jail Attica, but was, I wasn't thinking of that at all. I was thinking of the beginning of civilization. So it's kind of this new, you know, Rome, this new Greece is what I was more referring to. And it's where the humans have begun. We, what we find out is that the planet is not an alien planet, but the Earth very far into the future where there's really no humans left and aliens have kind of immigrated and taken over. So the humans have this little outpost city that they're trying to get reestablished. Where the did these ideas come from as I'm listening to you? I mean, it's I'm just I'm making such it a up right fantasy. now as I'm telling you. <laughs> no, it really is. Like, how does, how does that all come to you? Uh, you know, Aunt Randy, I was the kid that sat in the back of the classroom and while the teacher was talking, I was in the back drawing and coming up with crazy stories and stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm very fortunate that both my parents and a lot of my teachers um, in my life when I was young really encouraged my imagination. And, um, it, and, and, and that fostering has allowed me to kind of become... Oh, you know, it's great. Kids book guy. Yeah, they can, they you can... wear your imagination. <laughs> um, let, I want to talk about the, it has a really interesting component, um, sort of a, a link to, uh, to an online, a, a bit of a, a game, really. Yeah, we're using a little augmented reality in these books, which if you don't know what that is, it's kind of an, um, an application that relies on a web camera and your computer. And what you do in the case of the Wandla books is there's certain um, images, little uh, symbols in the book. When you hold them up to the web camera, um, you'll, in the first book, a, a three-dimensional map popped out that you could kind of look at and control. Oh, that's great. And in the second book, the ship there on the front, you'll actually be able to fly the ship in this kind of video game. Kind well, of, just by holding uh, it up to the Just by hand. holding the book and steering it. And, you know, the folks at Simon & Schuster came up with that, and I thought it was a really um, interesting idea, especially if it just gets a kid to pick the book up and read. And I think I, I'll kind of I'll go to any length to, to kind of do that. Because I was kind of a reluctant reader when yeah. I was young. Um, I you know that you're you're very involved with the Starlight Foundation. I am. Um, and and does, does some of this go to that? You help them? Well, I help them in different ways. Um, you know, uh, my wife and I spent some serious time um, in hospitals when our daughter was younger, and it dawned on me. Um, there's a lot of anxious uh, moments, and then there's a, kind of a lot of waiting and kind of waiting for the doctor to come, waiting for tests to happen and stuff like that. And I thought, you know, I go on tour, I go out and I visit with a lot of children in schools and libraries, et cetera. But the kids in hospitals, they don't get that. So the Starlight Foundation is so fantastic in kind of bringing events like that to schools. They, they offer video games and all kinds of other things to kind of help distract with pain management and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And so I've been doing my book events that I would normally do in a bookstore in a hospital, and it's it's awesome. It's awesome. Wow. I love doing it. They're great people. Well, I I know I'm not a teenager, but I'm going to read these <laughs> since you brought them to me. Uh, the first one, The Search for Wanla. The second one, The New One, A Hero for Wanla. Thank you very much. Thanks for having Tony me. Tony DiTerlizzi, great to have you here.